so just overcome just with the thoughts of God's faithfulness and doors that have been opened in Honduras and it's just um so I'm just and just singing that song just then just it's just We have this candle. And just to be able to hold that candle up for the world, it's just, man. Um, so, just so grateful, thank you. Um, <laughs> So we've been to, uh, hmm. so I want to share real quick, uh, every year when we go to, we go to Honduras, uh, to El Ayudante, El Ayudante, depending on the translation, is uh, Spanish for the assistant or the helper, and every year there is a, there is a verse that is associated with with El Ayudante for kind of their theme for the year. And this year has been, it's just their, I mean, what's God's doing for this verse has been so perfect for this team with so many things that this team has been through and continues to go through. And their theme for the year is Ephesians 3.20, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ through Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever, amen. And their theme for the year for us is he is able. And we have been facing so many things from the very beginning and he is able. So, um, it is just, it is just awesome. So, a, a final update before we head out is, uh, well, excuse me. Before I go any any further, there's a team of thirteen. We're a team of Fountain of Grace that are all going. But there is one person in particular that is part of this team that does not have. A team shirt and I've got to acknowledge her and give her her shirt and that is Trisha Pace because I could not do anything without her thank you so much thank you so much we uh she is no one other than Phil knows how much she does behind the scenes to, to get these mission trips together, to make stuff happen. It is, she's never more than a phone call or a text away. She's always emailing stuff, always keeping everything in order. And when I say I couldn't do it without her, it would not happen. It would be a complete wreck. She's, she's, she's awesome. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, really, everybody please give her another clap. She's awesome. We're, uh, so, would, uh, would the, uh, the ones going, would you please come up and line up the front? So, I want, I want the church to see you. And then as they come and line across, I'll, I will give the, uh, the, the, the update before you. We are five days from leaving the church and going to Atlanta, six days from getting on a plane and flying to Honduras, and... Again, just the, their, the theme, that verse is over and over and over again, just, just being, just driven in more and more of he is able. He is able, everything he's done, he is able to bring in the finances that were needed to go on this trip. He is able to bring the supplies and stuff that were needed to carry down with us. The medicine, he is able to do that. He is able to... 
to bring a team together and go serve in a third world country. He is able. The found, he is able to completely fund 100% this team. He is able to spark in you something to pray for us. He is able to have you give, as so many of you have. He is able to have Fountain of Grace be ascending church. He is able to have you all pray for us, and we know you're going to be, and we covet those prayers. I want to share a little as to what we'll be doing while we're there. We'll have a couple of mornings, half days of, uh, of VBS. There'll be a family night at uh, Monte de Sion Church. When I came home last year, I stood in front and talked about Monte de Sion Church and how we, would, uh, we were now going to be able to, to kind of partner with them. That is continuing. We're going to be able to continue the relationship built there in the community called El Mysterio. The VBS will be at that kindergarten. We'll be, this whole trip will be in that community, building relationships with that community. We're going to, uh, with the giving that God is able to bring money in for the swing set. So we'll be building the swing set. Uh, God's able to install the numerous water filters we're going to be doing there. And just in multiple other construction projects but it, it's this every person on this team has been under attack like I have never seen on a trip before it has been such a distraction such a thing just the enemy has been so against this so again God is able to see us through all of this and glorify this trip and make something wonderful happen because the enemy has been so against it the whole time I am convinced that this team you see before you is walking in obedience to the call that is on their life to go on this trip and God is going to honor that and do something so special in this team that's going to be brought back and thus done special in this church body. There's going to be a moment afterwards where you're going to be able to come and pray for us. And, and, and please, I know everybody may be hungry. I know there's the time. I'm going to sound like Pastor Tony for a second. And there's that clock over there. But there's going to be a time where you can come and pray. And I encourage you to please come and pray because we need your prayers. We're going to be, so after that, great. Well, we're going to be leaving Friday. I encourage any that are able to be here Friday to see us off and pray for us, please do. We'll be leaving the church Friday. Where we're going to be meeting here around 4 with hopes to leave around 4.30. If you're able to come by, great. If not, then that's, that's okay too, but please pray for us as we go. I'm going to get Tricia a schedule as to what we're doing throughout the week so you're kind of as a reminder and, and, and she'll email that, email that out to everybody and um, I know Susie's going to be meeting up here at the church every day she'll have that same schedule so everybody can kind of have an idea as to what we're doing throughout the day and how you can specifically be, be praying for us I will not be communicating back with everybody there may be an occasional text or something to fill but that is that's about it. They ask that we take a technology fast while we're there, and we're going to honor that. Um, they'll, I do look forward to giving you the big update when we return home, but that's what that's kind of how it's uh, that's how that's the plan as it stands. So um, that's it, y'all. Thank you so much for being a loving church family a church body that is a sending church and it is I can't wait to come back and tell you give you the report of what all God has done thank you we on okay uh, I, I'm I, 
Y'all actually look a lot better than that picture up there. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to divide you up, and I've got a couple of words to share. Y'all, this is family time. I cannot think of any time that I've been with my family where we were on a time schedule. So this is family time, all right? I mean, we are going to draw it to a close, but we're going to do something to bless these guys as a body. So I'm going to divide you guys up uh, kind of randomly. God's not random, but I am. Uh, sometimes, so I'm going I'm to send you in different places of the sanctuary for you to go sit, have a couple words to, to say, and then the, it'll make sense why you're where you're at, okay? I hope. Okay, I want, um, I, I would like for uh, Nathaniel and uh, Connor to go right up there, sit up there around Chris and Amanda somewhere up in there, um, and uh, y'all going up there. Um, I want uh, you two guys to go right back there somewhere, somewhere behind the paces, somewhere, just, just anywhere in there, be fine. Christy, I want you to sit right here next to your daughter. Um, you guys, I want you over here on the front row. Kevin and Heather over here on the front row. I want you guys over here, uh, you two over on the front row, Victoria and Aaron. Um, what in the world am I doing? Um, <laughs> okay, uh, I want... Um, I want Dennis and Carrie, y'all are kind of back in that area, so y'all going back there again, and you guys, uh, Eric and Tammy, want you up there in that area of the balcony. It's one of the most blessed places on, in, this, <laughs> in this building. So, um, all right. So, I, um, good thing we're having a fellowship lunch, huh? Um, I am going to um, skip through quite a bit of my notes. You know how that feels, right? Uh, it's the fifth year for Honduras. Fifth time going to El Ayudante in ministry. Uh, what, what a uh, legacy, what an opportunity, and God's got something special um, for us and for you guys that are going. I want to uh, go through this um, and just share with you, I just want to share with you one verse. This is to the Honduras team. This is to you guys individually as a Honduras team. And um, as I share this, I, I want, the reason why you're where you're at is because we're going to, uh, instead of having you all up here and trying to gather together around you, we're going to gather together around you where you're at and divide up the body around you and pray for you as we close this service. Okay, so that's, that's why you why you are where you are. So uh, just to, uh, I want to share with you John 20, 21. Uh, Pastor Mike mentioned it earlier in that song that we sang. So Jesus said to them again, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. As the Father has sent me, Jesus said, as the Father sent me to be the light of the world, to give my life for the sins of the world, to purchase a church who, like me, will be salt and light. And for many that are salt and light, it will be at great sacrifice. You that are going to Honduras, uh, Kevin and I have talked about this, is a ministry to the least of these. As much as you've done it to the least of these, you've done it unto me, Jesus said. And, and, and when Jesus said, so send I you, that word send means, first of all, to set apart and then to send out. Two parts of that word. Send means to set apart and to send out. You've been set apart as ministers of the gospel. Your journey up to this point has been part of God's process of setting you apart. It's painful sometimes. Some of the things that we have to endure and go through on our journey, which we do not go through on our own, but sometimes it feels that way. It's part of him setting apart, setting us apart. He's setting us apart so that he can send us out. We're set apart as ministers of the gospel to those, and you guys that are going to Honduras, you're set apart to minister to those who many would consider to be insignificant and unimportant, even by their own countrymen. <laughs> it was amazing to me when I went down there and started asking questions about what's the opportunity of these 
children down there, even if they got a quality education of being able to advance and go to the universities, and they said the likelihood of any of them, even if they were the smartest kid in Honduras, would be almost 0% chance because of where they were born. Because this community has no significance to the country, other than maybe what they produce with coffee and different things like that. But as individuals, they're not that important. Except to God. And except to us, God's put Honduras in the heart of this church and in your heart, and that's why you're going. He's setting us apart as part of that journey that we are on. It's not easy. You have faced tough things along the way, and, and some of you are going through tough things even as you're about five days out from leaving to go to Atlanta. As the Father sent me, so send I you. But, but a lot of times we miss the first part of that verse, and that's what I want to share with you in closing. Jesus said, peace be with you. Peace be with you means rest, quietness, something that many of us don't have much opportunity for that, literally speaking. It doesn't mean that you get a week vacation somewhere where there's running water and a river. Boy, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Just to be able to hear from the Lord. But the Lord is speaking to us in the midst of sometimes what we feel is chaos, and he's speaking peace to us. Peace be with you. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He sees things through, and he will see you through. He has you. He has you. He has your circumstances. He is your provider. Trust him. He's in this. He's in this. What's interesting to me is that he, it says in that verse, he said it to them again. <laughs> Peace be with you. In other words, he was saying it, I guess, quite often. And we need to be reminded of that, don't we? Peace be with you. You're on a journey. God's going to use you greatly. God's going to speak to you greatly and already has. But I think one of the greatest things he speaks to us is peace. Just rest in me and watch what I can do. In you, through you, in spite of you, just rest. I give you peace. I'd like for us to sing. If you would, I just feel I'm... Um, it would be good just to sing that song as well with my soul. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot Thou hast taught me to say, It is well, it is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. well it is well with my soul I'm asking for the Honduras team stand up where you are just stand up where you are and I'm asking the rest of us to stand up where we are and gather around these folks we need a couple more people over here elders deacons uh, disperse yourselves among these groups. I also ask that uh, if your family members, you can come and get with your family member. Uh, but let's gather. Let's make sure there's at least six around each person. Six around each person or two people that are there. Let's gather around them. Y'all, this is how we're going to conclude the service this morning. 
after you're through praying, believe, hey, if in those groups the Honduras team members want to share something with that group, share it. We've got time. We've got time. When you're finished, you can go back there and eat. There is, this is the end of the service. But you're not dismissed from what we are about to engage in here. And that is that we are praying and we are committing to pray for this team as they leave. And there's a reason why you're praying for that group that you're with. So, I want some people to pray out loud. I want you to give the people that are in those groups the opportunity. Please feel free to enfold yourself in these groups and, uh, and take time to pray for them as individuals. Pray for the team. And then you're... You're welcome to leave.